Now today's video guys, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to increase FPS in Roblox. Uh, in this guide, I'm actually going to be showing you guys a lot of things, windows settings, tools, and just everything you guys need to get the maximum performance possible in the lowest ping delays. So yeah, enough with the yaps, let's just get right into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so first thing we're actually going to do, all I want you guys to search up is background apps, okay? Once you go into background apps, we are going to literally see all of these apps now mine is currently off i highly recommend you guys to turn it off because you guys do not need all these apps running in the background you guys are playing your games and all that and just so people know okay if you guys do scroll down and you guys see windows security this is the windows security notifications okay it's not mean your virus protection or anything you guys can even go to your virus and protection and check it out <laughs> make sure you guys actually turn this off next thing we're actually going to do is go to game mode settings okay you guys actually go to game mode settings you guys make sure this is on now most people know this is on but some people forget to turn it back on if they like restart their pc or something so game mode optimizes your windows for pc play and it's just so important another thing you guys can actually search up is graphic settings okay now if you guys, now if you guys don't have this option you guys can just skip this step go into the next one people who do have this option okay it will accelerate gpu scheduling now it reduces latency and improves in performance there's some there's some pros and cons with hardware acceleration okay now some people say it does help them some people to say it doesn't okay now me personally it helps sometimes okay now sometimes what i mean is like some weeks i'll be fine with it on and then i notice that it is kind of slowing me down a little bit so i'll turn it off so what i recommend you guys doing is literally playing a game checking your fps with it off and then checking with it on now graphics performance preference we can actually go into that in another video okay now the next thing we need to search up is storage okay now you're gonna go you guys are gonna go to your storage settings real quick okay and now you're gonna see this thing called storage sense i actually want to keep this off and the only reason is to keep this off is literally because this needs to use a little bit of your resources to actually check your files and remove them like the amount of days you put it so let's say i turn this on you can run it every day every week every month but it's always gonna have to like use a little bit of your performance and use a little bit of your resources to actually see what files are like taking up space and if you go down here it's gonna like automatically delete files in your recycle bin and all that now, i'm not saying this is bad it's actually good for like being good storage on your pc and everything it's, and there's nothing really wrong with it but if you're on like a low end device and you guys should definitely like you know keep this thing off and another way you can actually do it if you search up disk cleanup this is like a way that you guys can just clean up your all your storage like, quicker so when you just opens up you want to click uh clean up system files and it's actually gonna open up once again so when it opens up this time you guys are just gonna have some more options i guess and as you guys can see i have literally 30 gb of disk space and if you go to more options you guys have your programs and features and system restoring shadow copies now another thing you guys can actually try doing okay you guys want to actually just search up power and sleep okay now when you see power and sleep just click it and when you guys go to the settings you guys want to click additional power settings after you guys open this you're going to see this okay you're going to see this thing called show additional plans you're going to see high performance okay now if it gives you guys the maximum performance possible now it does use more energy but you guys will get the maximum performance now a lot of people on laptop like to use this when they have their laptop plugged in and then when they don't have it plugged in they'll just go back to balance if you're actually on a desktop pc you guys could just go for the full high performance guess what the ultimate power plan i'll actually show you guys how to do it okay okay so there's going to be a link in the description it's going to be the ultimate windows utility by this guy named chris titus so what you guys want to do you're going to see this command you want to copy it and then you guys want to open up your powershell now you guys want to put it run an administrator or it will not work now open up just like this then you want to paste it click enter okay it's going to load it's going to let that load up now that you guys see now it loads up now you guys want to click tweaks after you guys go to tweaks you're going to go to custom preferences go all the way down until you see performance plans now you guys want to click add and activate the performance profile like if i click it you'll see and now that i clicked it you guys can see it set is active so i already have mine set now i have another one <laughs> so i have two as you guys can see and then you guys can just click that and turn it on now most people actually do not talk about this but if you guys actually have your discord open okay this actually could also be one of the main reasons why you guys are having bad fps go to your discord right now you guys want to scroll until you guys see advanced now turn off hardware acceleration okay Okay, it's, discord is going to be using your gpu so you guys can have like a smoother appearance bro like we don't need discord to be so smooth and killing our fps in the game so the next thing we're going to do we're going to go to voice and video when we go to voice and video we're going to go to debugging now what is debugging debug logging this basically just means you have a lot of files in your temp okay now this is mostly used for like discord support and just finding discord errors and troubleshooting all that stuff and then another quick thing you guys could 
I actually do go to Windows settings and literally turn off open Discord stuff. Now mine, I actually turned mine off using my task manager, but you guys can turn it off here. It doesn't need to be on. Also, make sure you guys do not have this downloaded, bro, because this thing, this only helps you guys if you're like playing a lot of games or using a lot of apps on Discord and it just helps you with the keybinds. Now that's actually going to wrap up today's video on how to increase your FPS in Roblox. I hope you guys really did enjoy today's video. It was kind of a little long one. I really hope you guys did learn something new also. You guys got the maximum performance possible out of your PC now. There's a lot of other optimizations and a lot of settings that we can go into a deep dive. Comment down below if you guys actually want a full optimization guide or just a full deep dive into how to increase your FPS in Roblox. But enough with the yapping, guys. I think I'll see you guys in the next video. As I said before, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace, peace.